Is life on Earth the most complex molecular structures on the planet aligned to form living and conscious beings over billions of years? Life arose here on a random planet at a random position around a random star in a random galaxy in a probably random universe if you want to go that far. Where then is the extraterrestrial life people have been talking about in science fiction for decades now? Conservative estimates suggest over 40 billion potentially habitable planets and a thousand advanced civilizations in our galaxy alone. A hundred trillion such civilizations in the observable universe. After tens of millions of years for life to have evolved, some signals are bound to reach us, right? We've got none. What does all of this mean? Where is everyone? Enter the Fermi Paradox. The Fermi Paradox isn't so much of a paradox as it is a discrepancy with the probabilities. We just don't find any evidence of intelligent life anywhere except Earth. Okay, maybe we're needlessly complicating things. Earth might just be the only planet that harbors life in the entire cosmos. It is in the habitable zone, in a stable orbit around a stable main sequence star, away from the chaos of the galactic center. Not a completely arbitrary place. This is more commonly known as the rare Earth hypothesis. But why is Earth such an oddball among the quintillions of eligible planets out there? Unless it isn't. Alien might just be out there, maybe hiding for any number of reasons, or he might have been visited already. The simulation hypothesis claims that we are mere simulations in some beefy alien supercomputer. The most reasonable argument, however, is that aliens are just too far away. Even light speed isn't all that impressive. Our radio bubble is just 200 light years, literally nothing. Okay, I get it. You're still not satisfied. Enter. The Great Filter. If we are not the only intelligent civilization in the universe, why don't we hear from anyone? Simple answer, they're all dead. For any and every civilization, may lie a catastrophe certain to end. This is The Great Filter, an event so disastrous it ends every advanced civilization regardless. Now, if the filter is behind us, great news, we have beaten the odds. If it is ahead of us, we're doomed. Mass extinction is on our way, and we are ready and likely to survive it. It could be anything from climate change to raging war or zombie apocalypse. Nah, advanced AI that destroys its own creators? Oh yeah. This is why it would be devastating to find alien life. The more of them we find, the more likely it is that the filter is ahead of us. I believe that life exists out there. We almost certainly have not visited Earth, a small dirt ball with random agglomerations of organic molecules seemingly interested in memes and anime. Space is vast. We don't know reasons about the universe or about the presence of life in it. Unless we get a clue, we must keep looking one way.